very sad about it because um, I'm very close to my family. I just genuinely develop feelings for someone and she happens to be a woman. But they cannot get their head, they cannot wrap their heads around this concept. Um, and they didn't speak to me for, for months after that. Cheryl, do you think it's odd that the public accepts you but your parents don't? Well, we can try a different question first while you think about that. I'm just trying to... Um, that, that question kind of... hit a nerve. <laughs> uh, I wish I had the same kind of support and love from my family that I have from the public. So I don't live with my parents anymore. Yeah. I live with Grace. I'm still part of the family, you know, Chinese New Year, birthdays, weekly family dinners, I still go back. But they pretend that she does not exist. So there's one part of your life where she's very much part of everything yes. and things are going just fine. And there's a family life where she's not part of it. Is that okay? I don't know. I wouldn't... It's, it's almost like a double life, right? I want Grace to be part of the family. So I'm stuck. How much do I want to push? So I've come to this, like, stalemate. It's been like that for two years. So I've been living with a woman, my partner Grace, for two years now. Is it time to bring her to my next family gathering, even though my parents pretend she doesn't exist? I still believe that she shouldn't invite her partner to the gathering because her partner will not get any respect from her parents and I don't think it is good mentally for her partner. Now they may not accept her in person but slowly, gradually, I think uh, people mindset will change. Less. If like both partner, if their love is uh, very strong, then I mean like they will hang in there. Like. Whenever I do something that my parents disapprove of, they have a tendency to retaliate by leaving me out of family activities. And that really devastates me a lot. Bringing her to the next family gathering would risk me getting cut off again. Family, they're okay with you being cut off from family activities, right? Yeah. My partner Grace feels very guilty seeing me so emotionally affected by my parents just because of our relationship. I guess it's time to take a break for all this conflict. You have to respect yourself as well as your partner. We've completely left ourselves out of this equation. It's always been about other people. Their comfort, their happiness, respect mm. for them. Mm. We never considered where our own limits mm. lie, I guess. Hello. Hello. <laughs> There was one part where when y'all were equally split down the middle, 50-50, and I was like, this is exactly how I feel. Like, I like how he was very positive, like, you really think love can conquer all, but love is not enough, ah. <laughs> I came out to my family in 2017, and it was a very emotional thing. My parents were crying, I was crying, slammed the door, that kind of stuff. And one of the first things they said was, don't tell anyone. For my parents, they are very concerned about what the relatives think, what their friends think, that they have a gay son. For them, they see it as like a, a stain, like a shameful thing. So, unbeknownst to my parents, I continue being out on social media and running this report and uh, being out in a very public way. Up to now, they are unaware that I am so out. So in their mind, they know that their son is gay, but they think he's like, he's closeted publicly. And then, here I am on national TV, <laughs> being very out. Are you worried about something going wrong when you burst their bubble this way? I feel like it is necessary for us to progress further because it's been five years. I'm in my 30s, you know, and I think at the end of the day, I want to be able to bring my partner back home to them because I feel like I'm living in two different worlds right now. I've always said like, when a child comes out, of the closet, their parents go into one. I already came out to my parents once, five years ago. They didn't accept it and told me that it was a shameful thing. Now that 377A has been repealed, should I try to seek acceptance from them again? Very evenly split. I choose yeah because I think that because we shouldn't, I mean, we should be truthful to our parents. Huh? 
Whenever I bring up any topic related to my sexuality to my parents, we get into a big fight. Which gets awkward at times because I still live with them, so I see them on a daily basis. But I'm also kind of a public figure in the sense that I do sometimes appear in LGBT-related content and I've also acted in LGBT shows. So there is that concern that they will find that out on their own. I can just uh, uh, tell them like, or lie to them, say um, that video is not real, it's all scripted. Man. It's all in the film, maybe I'm acting as gay, but of course I'm not a gay. Huh? Earlier, you mentioned that you should always be truthful to your parents. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Contradicting, uh. yeah. I was no the whole time, but I decided to move to yes because anyone could easily send a link to my parents. Maybe I can explain to them and like, use, this, uh, use this opportunity to maybe tell them that look at how many people are like, supporting the LGBT community too. So eventually, I hope you can support me like how they are supporting me. Hi. Hello. So what is your final choice? Yeah, what's your final decision? In a way, I've made my career about my sexuality. I feel like it's just a matter of time before my parents um, find out about the fact that everyone knows. But at the same time, if I do decide to tell them again, I just know that it'll be a bad day for all of us. My key takeaway from this is that when it comes to sexuality and family acceptance, there are no easy solutions. Because Sean and Cheryl don't want to compartmentalize their homosexuality from their own families. And I really get the sense that they want to stop leading double I. I want to hear from the other side, parents who struggle to accept an LGBT child. It took us two months and countless rejections before the team finally found someone brave enough to share. 